Rich, you know, this is actually from a few weeks no, ago. No, 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 no. What? There was everything this week. Let's start with you. Okay. How was your week, sir? Uh oh, you know what? For, okay. From the Sorry, last I, time. Did, I did not mean to interrupt, but we we have yeah, yeah, there's some shit that went down this week that's of the utmost importance. All right. From the last time we spoke. Yes. Uh, I I mean, I didn't want to mention it on last show because this was it had for you. It hadn't happened yet. But as of as of this this episode number 155, the first show that I'm doing as a married man. So so Damn, bro. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Let, let, let's take a second and wait for all the applause. Congratulations, man. Uh it was dog, yeah. Oh man, you know what? And it was funny because it, I felt like it was something um Kavino and Rich were talking this week about who's like the glue in your family. Who if your this person or gorilla. If this person doesn't um coordinate shit if this person doesn't like then shit never would get done right and it wasn't until my actual because um, it's your lady it wasn't until my my wedding day that i actually realized yeah. that i feel like i'm the not the glue you're but, marrying a boss b no 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 no. this is actually like with my friends oh, she's I, not I feel, a boss b no of course she is but i'm saying okay, with my checking. friend group i feel like i am mm-hmm. the the one that connects everybody i like it was it was so cool because you know my grooms you play connect four growing up i i did and i always won um what about connect the dots yeah yeah I, right. I, that was my favorite well, that makes sense yeah i was like oh that shit it's a dalmatian you know um <laughs> but it was it was cool because doug there was like friends of mine that hadn't talked in years five years and which which we all like i feel like when growing up we were all like really good friends but it, it showed me more than ever that i'm the one that kind of keeps everybody together or i'm the one that um everybody is connected through you know so are you are you matthew perry or david schwimmer um i, I feel like more of a matt leblanc um okay cool joey <laughs> but you know, no, it was cool because like um, one of my buddies, he was like, I was like, hey, why don't you my friend um, Ralph, who's actually well, you guys all know that I talk. About, I talk about my buddy Luis while well, Luis's cousin, Luis, Ralph, Ralph, Luis, another one of my good friends. Right. So I had told Ralph, I was Rainbow? like, I was like, Ralph, I was like, why don't you hit up Chris? This is like a week or so before and tell him this uh-huh. and this. And he was like, dude, he's like, I haven't talked to Chris in like years oh because uh ralph was talking about picking up his tux because ralph would have had to while he did have to drive like two and a half hours chris would have drove like 30 minutes you know and so i was like just tell chris to pick it up and he was like dude i haven't talked to chris in like five years and i was like how the fuck have you not talked to chris in like five years you know but anyway but it it was cool and um it reminded me of something that you mentioned earlier um before we actually started recording you were like you said something about oh, bro. You're gonna tell our secrets. You well, you you had mentioned something about like, uh, it's like in the hood or or when you grow up, you know, everybody's breaking each other's balls, right? Everybody's breaking each other's uh-huh. balls all the time. It's constant, and that was something that, um, it, it's so funny because it's cool to get together as everybody as like grown ups with their grown up jobs and shit, and still breaking balls and shit. We're all together. This is the first time. Oh, yeah. All of us have That's been together in like probably like 15 years, you know? And so we're all together. Everybody's breaking balls, talking shit the whole time. And it's funny because great. I'm as Those I was the best times, aren't they? As I was reading my vows, right? They were like, do you guys want to, um, you know, do your own vows, whatever you read, bro. So I'm reading my vows and I'm choking up like a fucking bitch. Right. And so, wow. so I'm like, you know, I'm like, and <clears throat> Right, you have a fucking frog in my throat. And you throw a timeout. So, you throw up a seat. I wanted to, right? So I'm over here, like, and as I'm like starting to like choke up, I'm like, what a fucking bitch, you know? Because like before, <laughs> right? Because before, before everything, yeah. like I'm standing up there, you know, and I'm like, I'm fucking. I'm like, why do people cry on their weddings? You know, fucking bitches, you know, like you know, whatever. You, you you know what though? There was one time 
there was one time I got my ass. It was it was at a funeral. Yeah. But uh, one time I got my ass. I was talking and sometimes you just at that point, you kind of lose it. Right. You kind of give in to it. You're like, I got to get this shit out. If I sit here and try to fight it, I'm not going to get it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, no, 100 percent. You got to go with it. Kind of. You got to rock with it. And that actually that happened to um, somebody that made a speech at my wedding as well. At your wedding? Yeah. They, somebody, they cried? They, they did. And it was, um, well, wow. dog, their shit was so heartfelt. They had every, no, there wasn't one dry eye in that whole place. It was like. Did they, they cash app you after they, or they, what? They, dog, it was. They it was it was it was a dope 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 speech, but but anyway. Hey, so if I ever get married again, bro, hold on real quick. Yeah. If I ever get married again, I'm gonna have one of those fucking QR codes at the door. I don't want no presents, just cash at me. Yeah, well, so check this out. Right? So it was funny. So I'm I'm reading my vows and I'm starting to choke choke up, and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, all I'm thinking is I'm like, oh, what a fucking bitch, you know? Because at first, as I'm standing up there, I'm like. I'm fucking, I'm a hundred percent. Right. I'm like, I'm, whatever. yeah, you're solid. You know, I'm solid. And I, when, duro. I start read when I start reading my vows and I start like choking up, I'm like, the fuck is going on here? You know, I'm a fucking man. What's going on? <laughs> well, anyway, afterward, right. I'm talking to, to one of my best friends and I'm like, I'm like, man, I was like, I can't believe. And dog, this just goes back to like where you're always breaking balls. Right. Uh, so I'm telling my buddy, I'm yes. like, I can't believe, man, I I choked up or whatever, and I'm reading my vows. And, you know, I, I'm expecting him to. That, to... Means, you, that, hey, that means you love her, right? Eh? <laughs> so I, I'm expecting. That him. means you love her. If you didn't give two dog shits or, or, you know, you didn't give a flying fuck, you would not have choked up. That yeah. means you care about her yeah. for sure. Well, um, so I'm expecting my buddy to be like, oh, no, man, it's all good. Like, we we get it, right? right? What did my buddy tell me? He's like, dude. Like a pussy. <laughs> He goes, I always knew you were a fucking puto. He was like, but that just confirmed it. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, I like that dude. I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh. Hey, yeah. me and that dude could be homies. Oh, for yeah. Sure. No, no. That's one, that's one of my best friends. And I'm not. Um, well, tell myself what's up. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's one of my, my best friends. And I don't get to see him that often. So that was, that was super cool, man. Like, I was like, oh, it was just. Over, I mean, I I couldn't have asked for a better evening, dog. It was just, it was so dope. It was so dope. I got like, oh, yeah. man, I I um, it was it was just awesome. I, I can't I can't say anything um more than it was. Bro, just, you're gonna start choking up right here. It was it was it was great. You better cut the shit bro, before you <laughs> shut the one right now. If, if we just cut to a different story, then you guys know what All happened, right. huh? You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. But it, it was it was super dope, Doug. I can't I can't say no. So hey, bro, fucking, did you hear that fucking thing? Where uh, well, first of all, there's this this is kind of a multi question. Mm -hmm. But Addy being booked for a couple weeks out. Yeah, you got a barber? Did your bar? How how does that work? You got it because the good barbers are, are always are booked out like that. But that would also be a problem for me. I'm not gonna bullshit you because I get my hair cut every week. Mm -hmm. So. Like me and Paisano, we already got a time worked out. Like if and if it changes, I book my shit a week out because motherfucker, I know I'm gonna be there in a week. So yeah. I, I I book the appointment before I leave. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I wouldn't like not being able to get it. I don't give a fuck how badass he is. I wouldn't like being two three weeks out on it. It just wouldn't work for me. No, you would know what? You know you? what tripped me out because we we've had this conversation before where we said where we're going one week, two weeks. Like like if. If for me, it's usually every other week. So it, it's one week I get one, one week I don't, one week I get one, one week I don't. But <laughs> Doug, it made me trip out when Spot was talking about his haircut this week because he's been going with that really short um, haircut, and it made me laugh because I was like, Spot was like, yeah, he's like, I'll get my haircut, and then he goes, um, usually he's like four or five weeks later, it's time for another one or something, and I'm like. Dog, if you have your hair like cut, fucking Fraggle Rock at that point. I was like, if you have it as short as he's been getting it, you can't have it short, look good for a week, and then after that, it's right. already time to re up or a week and a half, it's two weeks. But before, it's Rubo, bro, the way he said four or five weeks, he made it like he just goes like four times a year for a haircut, and I'm like. If your hair's, I mean, if your hair's longer, it's, you know, down your shoulders or whatever, or whatever the hell you're having these man buns, maybe you don't have to get it every, every week or every other week, you know, trimmed or whatever. But when you have a tight haircut right. like that, you have to get it every week we or two at the most. If you have any type of taper or fade, when they blend that shit with, with the razor, 
spot. You look, you leave that motherfucker with your hair fresh, looking like Zac Efron. Mm-hmm. You come back looking like Fozzie on the Muppets. <laughs> all right, that's just the way that if you if that's cool with you, I, I, hey, bro, I'm not Watner, Mathis, or Judy. I'm not here to judge. I don't like that shit. For me, nah, I'm not Judge Jenkins. He fade Jenkins. I like my shit clean. You know how your beard is faded in? I like my hair faded in like that. And the thing is, for me to get that, I got to go once a week. I mean, but I'm not telling no one else what they need to do. Mm. But, yeah, you're not clean after. If you don't got a fade or a taper, it starts to go astray about, I I mean, some people's hair grows faster than others. Mine grows fast. Mm. But I promise to God, two weeks after you got that taper, it's time for another one. Yeah, no. And then did you, okay, because then on the conversation of haircuts, Covino mentioned that he got a low taper or um, he he was mentioning his hair. Did you hear the conversation about his hair? I I did. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to try that next time too, because I think the taper might even actually, I get a mid skin fade, Mm -hmm. but I don't know if I really need to get all the skin around everywhere. I mean, I just want the shit where my hat goes. Yeah. So I might try to little taper out my damn self. Yeah, no, no, yeah, and they, I, but I did hear it. They were talking about um, how it's it looks different or something. But you know what? There was a couple of things. <clears throat> One, I'm like, I'm assuming because he said that he likes the way this dude did it last time. And he's been going to him and trying mm-hmm. to schedule around his regular barber. Igor, right? Yeah. Ar- he's trying to get it. Well, no, no. Igor has been cutting it. So the dude who cut it last time was not Igor. Else. Yeah. And he went to him again right. or whatever. I feel like like it's been looking pretty similar the last couple of haircuts, but Spot and Rich. I mean, yeah, Spot and Rich. Real quick though, is it the same shop? It's the same shop though, right? So he's just chair hopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why he okay, was planning cool. it around Igor because he didn't want to run into him and be, you know. Well, but he is chair hopping, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, okay. it's it's not. Well, I mean, I don't know if it. it's hopping because now he found the new one in so the shop. It, 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 if you stay, it's not anymore. Yeah. But yeah, if you if you've been in like four, three or four chairs, fool, yeah, it's chair high. Yeah, yeah. I'm guilty, so I'm not talking no shit. Cavino, I ain't talking no shit because I've I done it too. Usually for me, because I get my shit done once a week. If I know someone's halfway decent, even if they slightly don't make it perfect, um, I know fucking they're gonna be able to fix it in fucking six days. And again, if you're going to a good barber shop where most people get down decently, you know, for me, I'm 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 on a time limit. I'm not going to go sit there if they don't, because I've been to a lot of shops that don't make appointments. And if you're waiting on one cat, you might, if he's hella badass, you might wait there two hours, dude. I ain't got time for that yeah. shit. No, um, th- no, no, no. But you know what? They, they were saying, I don't know. Spot and Rich were saying that they were like, oh no, it looks different. And it looks this and that. I heard them. And, and I don't know, dog. They're, they're, I feel like there could be a couple of things. One, I think they don't pay attention because to me, it, looks, don't. it looks pretty much the same. They don't. They Two. don't. You know why? Because check it out. What? We take notes throughout the show, mm-hmm. right? We listen to their, their show and we take notes. Things that we like, we highlight, whatever you like, you highlight, you want to talk yeah. about, I do the same. Okay? So here's how my notes go. Addy book for weeks. Cavino got a taper. Barbers being popular. Are they entitled? Right? Mm-hmm. And then I got some other shit that's not about Covino Russia. We'll get to, into about your address number painted on your curb. Do motherfuckers even need that anymore? We'll get to that next. But after that, it's Covino showing up with a fresh taper and Rich acting all brand new. Just talked about it a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I don't know, bro. If the listeners can pay attention and they can are following along. Or is, I think sometimes Rich just makes this shit up for, for content. I know that, that's I my opinion. I don't think I don't think he's making it up. I think he really do, isn't like paying attention. He, no, because, because you're calling him a dumbass. Give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he makes it up because otherwise you're saying he's a dipshit. Okay. Because we got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not fucking confused. Are you? No, no. Because no, oh, okay, no. Hey, then he's an idiot. You're either calling. Hey, you're either calling him an idiot or you're saying he fucking he makes it up. I'm just saying. Uh, well, I mean, I'm saying he's not very observant. You know, I wouldn't know if I would say he's an idiot, but I'm saying he's not. So he's not self-aware. I don't think I don't think he is. is. Not, does he not listen to his own content? I mean, does he not listen to the show? Because he should be talking it once and probably listening to it another time. And fuck, are you still ain't figured it out? No, look, at, all right. Let me give you an example the, I do. I do not think that he is very self-aware. This is why. Let me give you an example. Spot. We'll go back to 07, right? Um, or mm-hmm. no, or, or 
I don't know. Let's go back to let's go back to 99, 2000. Spot and Rich, okay. you know, first meet or whatever. Yep. And Spot is over here with his Jackson 5 Jufro, right? His his little fuck, we can't say that these days, right? He's with this. I'm just gonna ask you, with, can you even say that? With all the Kanye shit and <laughs> well, he's you with, can't fuck it, put it out. He's there. with his Jackson 5 fro and his Walmart sneakers and shit. And he's not pulling any ass. Rich back in the day used to be like, well, I don't see why you don't. When Rich was all like, you know, fit and freaking, you know, um, pulling like all these models and shit. He's over here like well, Rich with the, but you know what though? He talks shit. The thing is Richie with the goggles didn't pull shit. When he had them Chris Sable goggles, he wasn't pulling no but That's why I'm saying he's not self-aware because I think he forgot about Richie with the goggles because now if he's telling Spot, oh, well, why don't you do this? Don't why don't people you do call that? him Richie with the good hair? Yeah. So yeah. what do we, do we just call him Richie with the goggles now? Or <laughs> Richie what? with the goggles. That's when I, we're, we're referring to him when he was young. So Richie with the with goggles, Sable? right? Now Richie with the good hair forgot about Richie with the goggles right so if he's over yeah, here telling he sure telling did. young spot hey spot uh why aren't you uh why aren't you pulling as much ass why just go out and go get somebody when they don't want spot was pulling tud they when they don't want young dorky spot right Man, so so ha- so that i i do think he he isn't very self-aware where like well what well why can't you well Doug, I mean, I, yes, women aren't as, I don't think they're as, um, as superficial as men. Right. But I mean, no. come on now, if you, if you're a chick and I mean, you're not going to want dorky young spot. I mean, unless, I mean, gee, I mean, unless you're the chick at the wedding or whatever, but Amy, Amy Farrah Fowler might've liked spot. She might've, um, However, I don't think there was, and I'm not saying nobody wanted Young Spot, but I'm saying it's not like they were lined up out the door like Rich was making it back in the day. Like, well, why don't you? Because it wasn't as easy. But you know what he should have did, though? You know what he should have did, though? If he was quiet and he didn't really speak a lot, but he really, really, really has a hog in his pants, he should have just wore fucking like biker shorts and shit that outlined his hog. Yeah. Let the hog speak for you, bro. If you're scared to speak, let the hog speak for itself. Yeah. That that but, but to go back to your your point or or what you were saying, I really don't think that he rich is as self aware, or is um, yeah, I don't think he he's as aware as he can be, you know. But I don't know, I don't know. That's just me. But you know what's crazy? Rich is not self aware, and he's fucking, you know, he's out there a little bit. But fuck, man, I was listening to the morning mashup the other day, and it is absolutely. A hundred percent not the same with his fucking Mickey Mouse voice on there. I'm really? just saying. I haven't. No, I, I, you know what? Not. I don't think, I mean, because I haven't had Sirius for a couple of years now since Kavino and Rich left. That was when I dipped out too. But I can't imagine it really feeling like the morning mashup if he's not there. You know, I know we bag on him no. a lot, but but I think. It's not. Yeah, I just don't think it would be the same. I mean, you know, and you know what? Let me let me actually have another example. There's there was a show that I listened to. Example. There was a show I listened to. Um, well, there's the fighter and the kid, which is a pretty big podcast, right? Well, from that, Theo Vaughn used to come out and um, would fill in when Brian Callen was out or whatever. And then next thing you know. Theo Vaughn and Brendan Schaub say we're going to start our own podcast called The King and the Sting. So mm-hmm. they had this show going for a few years, right? And I've been I've listened to every every single episode of it. And Theo says, you know what? I'm going to kind of dip out. Little by little, they start bringing in new people, and they mm-hmm. end up just rebranding it, right? They've had two or three episodes. Isn't that what you did? Oh, you're going to drop that mic and walk away, or what? So <laughs> no, nah, I'm just asking. So well, the thing, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> the thing is, they rebranded it, and uh, now it's a completely different show. But it's not like the morning mashup. I just feel like, man, why you do that now? I feel like I can't even make a point or nothing <laughs> over here because I'm over here. The- because we didn't rebrand. Wow. It's still the after show, but later. No, but, we didn't rebrand. No, we didn't rebrand. But yeah, you know what? You're, to your you're point right. though, no, it's, just... it's a completely different show right now. I'll tell you that much. 
when 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 yeah. if you listen back to the show with me and Johnny and you listen to um to to us it was a completely different show i remember um we had only done a few episodes maybe even maybe we done like 15 20 episodes and then we had gone to see Covino and Rich and Covino you know of course cuz Covino listens he he looked and he saw me. Shout and, out Steve fucking Covino. And Covino was like, hey, he was like, hey, he's like, where's Johnny at? He's like, where's that little shit talker? Because Johnny did talk a lot of shit, you know? And I feel like we do from time to time talk shit here and there or whatever, but I, I feel like it's more like observations and shit, right? It's more um, right. little off topic shit. Well, it's not personal. It's more, yeah. And it's not personal, and, um, you know? But it, it's just funny because it is a completely different show now um and if i if right if somebody was a fan of me and johnny and they listen now Mm -hmm. i think even the way i approach the conversations is because i'm I'm feeding off of you right i'm feeding off of johnny i'm feeding off of you so it's gonna be a different show so um i think when people are listening to the morning mashup they're like wait there's no rich davis it does sound a little different it's it is it, a was, different it wasn't show. the same bro yeah and, and the only reason and so you know i it came free in my truck and then they offered me some fucking deal like it was like 40 bucks for the year or some bullshit so i was like well fuck it i mean who doesn't want serious sex if it's that cheap yeah so but the thing was is they're like so i paid it we gotta send you a new signal yada 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 put it on zero zero one and I did, and there was no Rich Davis, and it was kind of fucking depressing, to be honest with you. Yeah, and sometimes they will do that. I remember um, with Sirius XM, if they did have, like, a, um, like say I even had, like, a rental car or some shit, and they didn't have Sirius in there, but they had, like, the configuration or whatever, and you went to Sirius, right. they, a lot of times they'll give you hits one for free without even a su- well, subscription, you know? Well, and, and shout out Rich. I know we give Rich a lot of shit and spot a little bit here and there, but we love the fellas. And of course, so, of course. you know, and, and, and that just, go, that just goes to show like, honest to God, it just wasn't the same show. Hits one is not the same. I, I, we give them a lot of shit. We do. We give Rich a lot of shit around here, but it was absolutely not the same without him. And, just, and, think about, and, and the same goes for the actual show. Say it was Kavito and Rich and Rich dipped as much as we, we like to bag on him and shit. It wouldn't be the same show. It would be Absolutely a completely not, no. different show. Uh, and, it could, and, maybe, I, and that don't mean we won't listen. Exactly, and that doesn't mean it wouldn't be say. a good show. But it would be different. Because it a hundred percent. It'd be way different. It'd be way different. Yeah. No. 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 I feel that hundred uh, percent. And, and, and and you know what? And like it's kind of like you said too, though. Our show would probably be different because of that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It would. It would have a revolving effect. I mean. Because we would approach the, con- the you know the content that we talk about that they talk about differently if their show was different. Mm-hmm. No, and you know what? Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get into the the Carl's. Um, there's been a lot of uh, I the snarls. I, yeah, I want to say lately, but I feel like they've always been like it's uh, their because we don't read listener pages have always been. I feel like a place for Hostile? the Carl's to go and bitch. All they have been doing. Especially lately, environment, bro. Somebody, my put, therapist tells me to avoid those situations. Um, some chick had put, <laughs> and it was like an older lady. Well, a female older lady. Yeah. She's getting violent with you. Or or she what? had put on the crawl page. She was like, "I hate to post this." Was she but, throwing gang signs? She was like, "I hate to post this, but the show has been really boring lately." And, ah. and within like an hour or two, there was like 130 comments. And oh, I bet. And and Good. well, people people agreeing, people disagreeing, people saying, "I've been here since 05. What are you talking about?" And um, and, and you know what? And I feel like it really got me to think about our show when I was reading I the got, comments. I gotta say something real quick. Yeah, I really gotta say something. Cavino and Rich are humble enough to say. They're not even listeners. They're friends of the show. Mm-hmm. That old, old bag's a listener. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Well, look Please at continue. It got me thinking. I was like, you, you know, a no friend of mine. Where where I I did Kavino on Rich. I I have for the last um ten years, right? And I I was thinking about it, and I was like, I think even um Kavino had commented and was like, hey. We do this many shows a week, or whatever. Not every one of them is going to be a home run. 
And I felt like that. I was like, dog, we do one show a week, right? And so if we have a right. bad show, we, we're fucking 25% of our month is shit. Is, <laughs> right? is wackadooski. Yeah. So I'm like, and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, we have two bad shows that month. Now 50% of our fucking month. And I'm like, these dudes do this shit every fucking day. They're doing nine shows a week. Nine shows right. a fucking week. Five Fox Sports. That's fucking good Patreon. shows a week too. And, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're not going to fucking knock a home run out of the park every fucking day. But you know what I do dig? Their consistency. Doug, I've been listening for 10 fucking years. You've been listening for fucking 15, 20 years. Con- they're fucking consistent. Are they not consistent to, with, with the fucking amount of good content that they're giving out and shit? Where I'm like, Doug, I don't fucking understand how how people are going to say that, oh, it's been boring lately. What do you mean by lately? The last week? The last six months, here's, the last fucking, here's, what do you mean lately? Here's the thing. 17 years, 18 thing, years bro. of content. What do you mean lately? The thing is, you're not subscribing snarls for the topics. What you're subscribing for, you silly bastards, is the interaction between the two and the addition of spot. They they could be talking about the shit you could care the fucking least about. It's the meshing of their two personalities with the add-ins from Spot that you're paying for. So that is never boring. The interaction between the fellas is never boring. Yeah, there's some things they talk about where I'm like, eh, you know, that's not really my deal. But them going back and forth is. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm paying for. I'm paying for the interaction. I don't want them to agree all the time. Sometimes they do. You know, sometimes they don't. But that's what you're paying for. You're paying for Cavino and Rich. You're not paying for the topics. No. And then, um, like, I think it was the same lady that mentioned in the At least thread. I'm not. At least I'm not, bro. She was like, um, she was like, oh, like that, that they played a game towards the end of the week. I think on Thursday show, they had played a game called, like, who would answer? And they were like, oh, like a game show. If you call um, who's somebody that you can call right now that you guarantee they're going to answer. And so um, Rich, one he had called his mom. She answered right away. And then he called right. um, Sarah's I mom. I hope so. Right. Well, well, the listener was like, oh, that Sarah's that. mom answer. So check this out. So the listener was like, oh, well, that game was stupid or whatever. Right. And yeah, it wasn't the most entertaining thing they've ever done. However, it did get you to think because when they were doing that, I started thinking, okay, who, who would you call? Who would I call to, right. to answer? Yeah, yeah, right. You start thinking, who who would I call that I know for a fact would answer? And so you start thinking about that. But when Rich called his mother in law and she answered, it was cool because we she did answer. We do hear You better give her a better Christmas present for that shit. We hear a lot of stories, right? About Cindy. Oh, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Her shitty internet, right? Her whatever. We hear a lot of stories about her. It was cool to hear her voice and hear her, hey Richie. You it, off it, she, it, she answers the phone and she's like, No, I didn't. So she answers the phone and she's like, Hey Rich, how's it going? Is everything okay? You know, and, and you get to hear her concern immediately you get to hear like she bubbly her, and then and she actually sounded did she sound hot she sound it, it was funny because she sounded a lot like sarah which which not only because she had like kind of a countryish accent there was a okay. tone in her voice that really sound and i was like hey that's kind of cool like i never so duck so it, it's even beyond the actual game they were playing we got to hear right. um we hear so many stories about Marianne, right? So then right. Rich called Marianne and and we've heard from her, you know, from time to time, but she answers, she's like, Hey Richie, how are you doing? I'm at work. Like kind of, hey, Rich, I'm fucking I'm busy, make it busy. quick, right? What do you want? And, my and it's just cool to hear like different shit and how the people Texas. answer, it, right? But that's but that's Long Island or wherever the hell he's from, fucking versus Texas. Mm-hmm. Compassion, there's care. Everyone's not in a hurry. You know what I mean? It's not, hey, fucker, get to the point. I got to go. Yeah. In Texas, they got all damn day. They want to talk all fucking day. What you got going on? Really? How'd that work? Oh, you could have called me, right? Yeah. It's a whole different vibe. Yeah. And then um, it was funny because Cavino called. Um, and of course we want to hear it. Yeah. Well, Cavino called Black Eyes. He didn't answer. 
And then he was like, he goes, I call the reason he said he called him was so he was like, I think Black Ice might be like, why the hell is Kavino calling me? And he'd answer. He didn't though. And then he called Rocket Dog. Rocket Dog didn't answer. And um, he said he was in a conference call or something. He couldn't pick up. So the two people Kavino called didn't answer. And um, fucker should have called me. <laughs> I, you know, I thought the same shit. I'm like, you know what though? I don't think I would. I would answer. I don't think I would have. Huh, maybe no. I would have been able to answer. I, I was working an event, and so I was listening to the show, but I was listening in and out. I didn't get to listen all the way through. I had to do that like after the fact. But it was funny right. because I was like. But if he would have called, I could have stepped away and taken it. I probably would have. So I was thinking that too. But I think at the same time, um, I I think I was in the chat throughout the show whenever I was listening. And um, he was right. saying he didn't want to call anybody that was in the chat because he was like, oh, well, they're fucking they're going to cheat and answer, you know. But um, yeah, but no, but see, I thought it was cool. And then like like that supposed like stupid game that they played. I mean, it has given us how much content right now, you know, it's I, right. I, and that's what I'm like, Doug, there's but always you know going to be people, people are always going to exactly. Chirp. They're always, always, you know what, though, the thing is, and, 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 and I'll be honest. I mean, there's some times I see some stupid shit on TikTok that I want to leave a fucked up comment. And a lot of those times it's typed out and then I hit delete. Yeah. Because it's like, you know what, what good is it going to do for me to talk shit on someone else's page? I don't even fucking know. Mm-hmm. Right. Even if it is dumb as hell, like now they're going to click on your link and fucking I don't need that kind of attention. Yeah. Right. And I just don't I just don't need to talk no kind of bullshit. Like, what do you gain? Now you got other talk shows like us talking about your dumb ass because you said some negative shit that totally could have been fucking avoided. Yeah. No. And it was, it was just like, man, um, like, see, another thing that somebody had mentioned, um, they were you like, didn't even use their username. They're lucky that you have class and you didn't call them out. Yeah, I, I didn't call out the old white lady. Um, but see, and the then Bahita? the thing is that there was um, somebody had mentioned things that they're talking about that are unrelatable, right? Like um, spots, polyamorous, uh, new lifestyle, right? And I'm you like, you don't need to relate. Just be exactly. interested because it's different. That's the thing, right? It, you get to hear it. And oh, fuck, you're not supposed to. No, check it out. I, I, I need a minute. Go ahead. I'm going to give you guys some fucking game. Just because someone is doing something doesn't mean you need to do it too. And you can be interested and curious and want to hear their stories and their tales and live life through them without needing to fucking do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to hear it all. I want to hear all the fucking spots, fucking shenanigans, but I don't want to do it. Yeah. That's not for me. I'm not trying to do that. And, and I'm not knocking spot because there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's not for me. That's not my deal, at least at this point in my life. But I am curious to see what the fuck he's got going on because it's kind of exciting. I mean, is it not? Yeah, no, 100 percent. And I do have even a spot topic for, for this week's show. So and, and Doug, I'm the furthest thing from a polyamorous fucking Me too. lifestyle, you know, and but spots it, not but, and it's fucking great content. Yeah. And, and and I think the the evolution of spot is intriguing enough, right? From going yes. from quiet, nobody makes a be nerd boy fucking nobody makes a peep sex to to loud fucking blowing dudes and chicks and fucking everything in between yeah. like really whatever like, else he's got whoa, what the hell i mean that's not intriguing enough like like i don't know man it's just i just feel like there were so many things that i was reading when i was going through the the Bro, comments not, but hold on not only that though he was just back in the day he was just, just a producer mm -hmm. right mm-hmm and and now he's fucking yoga master, the fucking yoga mites, and fucking he got a clan and a following and all kind of weird shit going. He teaches classes, bro. He's not even just in yoga. He is the yoga fucking master. He's a yogi now. And like he's a yogs. And and so he's a my yogs. And so the thing is, is there's just a lot interesting going on because remember, like you said, he had his big haircut. Now he's his all fucking big haircut. Uh, and, and now he's all fucking now he's all fucking toned in he's, he's touched in and shit and 
he was he was a chubster for a minute. Remember, he was fucking insecure about his weight. Yeah. Now, fuckers yoked. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's interesting. No, is that why they call it yoked? Because you eat a lot of eggs, and maybe you get that way. I don't know, I'm but gonna... I root for Spot. I really do. I mean, I don't. I, I don't. You know, see eye to eye with all of his fucking current decisions. But, but you know what? Hey, though the thing know... is, it is this is what throws me off is that people are saying that I'm like, so are you saying for the past 15 years you've related to everything they've ever done? No, that's, that's no, I don't need to relate to all. And and I'm not judging his current decisions. If those things are right for him, then I'm rooting for him. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like some of the stuff is right for me, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't live his life. I mean, we all gotta we all gotta do what we like to do what makes us happy and and if the decisions he's making makes him happy i'm happy for him 100 percent, straight out yeah no um let me see i put who i can't even read my own handwriting well that's fucked up who i don't know okay i don't know i can't read that anyway <laughs> um <laughs> um let me see. Oh, Covino Rich what? Convention. All right. Well, let's talk Covino Rich Convention. Can we get the guys to throw a Covino at CNR convention? You know what? Um, I don't know if it was on Patreon or Fox Sports, but Rich did mention that um, uh, not a convention. What do they call them? A road trip. They said that a road, road trip, trip, a road trip is in the works, and I think a convention. Okay, cool. But now they're gonna do it through Fox Sports, so all of that shit could get paid, right? Before they were okay, cool. So, so before it was um, on Sirius XM's time, now it'll be on Fox Sports. Right. They can still, you know, do their their traveling or whatever, or throw something right. in Vegas or whatever they're gonna do on Fox sports is right. which will be dope. I mean, I'm, I just want the events to happen. I don't care who they're marketing it for, or who it's throwing it to. Nope. I just, you know, I, uh, I even kick down some promotion if we have to, I mean, fuck, we'll contribute as a show, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That'd be dope. I mean, just, you know, whatever. I just, I want to see the people I want, I want, I want to go hang out with everybody and, and, you know, and, uh, Sounds fun, man. It's yeah. been a minute. Yeah, I really I think the last I, time I, I saw really those do. guys was I think the last time I saw them, uh, it was me and Tip Dog, and we went to LA like 2018, maybe 19. It, it was a minute. And uh Spot gave me a switchblade comb. He gave us each a fucking case of Red Bull, and uh it was chill, you know. Yeah. Super chill. I wonder, you know what? I, I'm I'm actually gonna be in LA tomorrow. Um, are you maybe Sunday? I I was thinking about my sister was telling what part me of LA, um, West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. My well, my sister was telling me she's like, should we hit him up for like a like a lunch or something? And I'm like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll kind of see how it's going. So, um, but I, if I don't you know. do hit me up, I might I might smash if you guys do. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll see what's up because I'm not sure. I think we might. I got so much shit to do on Sunday. If we if we leave if we. Come back Sunday morning. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we we are going to have time to kick it, but we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, but I would love an event in, in L.A. or in Vegas or something where we can go get a lot of listeners together because I've only been to one um, Covino and Rich event. It was in Scottsdale. I right. would love to go somewhere else and meet more people. Um it, those of that event that I went to was so damn fun. So doing it on, on right. like a grander scale, if it's not a road trip, but, but it is a freaking convention where people are going to fly in yeah. from all across the country. I think that'd be so dope, you know, but no, that'd be dope. one day because the thing is when they, well, so we should hopefully they'll do it soon because I think to me, that'll gain listeners. Yeah. Right. Because the people that show up are going to get all excited and they're going to tell all their friends and whatnot. And they're going to tell their friends and what the fuck really you went over here and took a flight to see who. Yeah. Right. And and I think that that's how you branch out and you, you get extra listeners. You know, you get a hundred people to attend, right? Mm -hmm. Those hundred pe people told 10 people each that they were going. Mm -hmm. Now that's a hundred thousand people. That's how it works. Right? I'm just saying, uh, Hopefully. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what, dog? It was funny because they they had talked about um, Bad Baby, right? And they were saying how, what about how she's gone from, they were like, oh, she looks so different now, this and this. And I had even jumped in the comments and I so was, was like, Kylie Jenner, though. No, no. So does Kylie Jenner. But check this out. I had even said, well, I mean, because if you're thinking about her on Dr. Phil, she was 13 right now. She's like, what, 18 or 19. So obviously, as you get older, I mean, even her, she was a young girl, teenager. And now she's like turning into a woman. Right. Doug, I did not know what they meant by she looks different now. Have you seen her lately? I have. She looks like a young, like like black chick. I don't in that one in that one. There's there's a picture out there that makes her look like <laughs> yeah. that. And I go, but there's only one, right? But but hold on, correct me if I'm wrong. There's only one picture like that out there. Yeah, the only one that I've seen. But they were calling it. This is where what I wanted to talk about. They were calling it black fishing, right? If this person is looking black or whatever, Doug, wasn't that just like a couple of years ago? Wasn't that called blackface? What What's the difference between now blackface? Because I know back in the day, like in the 50s or whatever, when they would do blackface, it was intentional where they would like, do a black face with a big like white smile or whatever yes. and they made it look like comical and ridiculous right but when right. people started doing it like even um they had like jimmy kimmel dress up as carl malone or chris rock or something they even okay. though he was playing a character and they didn't do it the way the traditional quote-unquote black face was they were still accusing them of being in blackface so how is this right. different if a chick it like like um I, I know they accused Ariana Grande of it before, um, and now bad baby. What is different? Is it like what what I don't understand what's different. If if somebody was like dressing up and they're like, hey, uh, even if it's like Halloween and you admire Chris Rock and you're dressing up as him and you put like darker makeup so you can look like a black dude or whatever. Is that blackface? Or if now bad baby is wearing dark makeup and making herself look black or whatever, is that blackface? Why is that black fishing? I don't get, I don't get where the difference well, is. Here's the thing. I don't get where the difference is either, but the judgment people on the fucking web will let you know. And so you got to be careful when you do certain shit because I don't know what the difference is either. Right. And I think that's what the problem is. Most people who do shit like that, they don't know either. And they do something thinking that it's okay. And then you got some other people telling you it's not. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't, it's I don't know. One. I'm like, I don't know if it's because one is playing a character and one you got to stay away from all that controversial shit. You just got to realize that when you do shit like that, you're playing with fire and it, it, it can either work out for you real nice or not good at all. Yeah. And, and you have to, you have to be aware of that when you're tiptoeing that line. But you know what though? The thing is though, see, I don't what? think she's doing it maliciously and I don't think, I don't matter. think it even crossed her mind. We talked about Rich Davis and that, Maybe not. Exactly. But if we talk about Rich Davis and self-awareness, mm. when you're in the public eye, you need people in your corner that if you can't spot those things out for yourself, they spot it out for you. You're right. You're, you're a star. Like, right. You're, you're, you're famous. You. I mean, Thank you. you're not. Yeah. Hey bro, you are <laughs> famous. So, so guess what, what? You're like Tupac. All eyes are on you. And, and so if you can't see that shit for yourself, you better have some people with LASIK vision around you that can see it for you. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, no, I feel you 100%. I was just, I, I was over here thinking like, damn, like, well, what's the difference? You know, because, um, yeah, when they said black fishing, I'm like, hmm, is it not black face anymore? Now it's black fishing. I don't know. But it was just, it, yeah, that was the first they time. They say a lot. And the, the thing is, the people, they change their definitions often. So, again, about self-awareness, it's just good to stay in a, in a really good, at least for me. I don't know. This is how I kind of operate. I try to stay in a zone that is so fucking neutral 
that it can't really infringe on anybody. Mm. Because the rules change so often. They just do. Yeah. And if you're constantly towing the line and you're not aware of the change in the rules, you're an asshole. Yeah. And if you just tow, you know, you just stay in this fucking neutral zone. I mean, it kind of sucks because you can't be as open as you want to be, but you stay out of trouble. Yeah. Worse right. than the cocoon. All right. Well, just I have a question now. And I want to see, I'm going to ask you this question because I think you might make my point. They had a conversation this week where they were asking who is, like if I ask you, Kukui, who is Mm -hmm. your favorite actor or who is the best actor ever? Either one of those you can take, but I just want to know who your answer would be. And then I want to talk about an angle I thought I don't think they took that they could have. My favorite actor? Yeah. I'm going to have to say, honestly, it's a three-way tie. Okay. And I'm going to say Adam Sandler. Okay. Chris Rock. Okay. Four-way tie. Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, and Stifler. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you this. You are very consistent because I've heard top five, whatever, and you've thrown Stifler in there before. So that makes me laugh because I think just like. You know, he's I, a funny motherfucker. I, you can't lie. <laughs> but in the, every movie he's in, you're laughing, right? I live to laugh, right? Like that's serious shit. And these war movies and these old school British movies and fucking rah, 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 fucking man movies and whatever, right? And the heartbreak movies. That shit's cute, right? Like it's all good. If that's your deal, that's your deal. But I like to kick back. And when I'm kicking it with myself, or I'm kicking it with people. I want to engage in laughter. There's an energy that comes with it. I like Cat Williams. I like funny shit. Mm-hmm. Let's hang out. Let's fucking drink some beer, smoke some weed, and let's laugh. Let's hang out. Let's have a good time. All right. So you went yes. the same route they went. And I guess when they were asking this question, I was just kind mm-hmm. of wondering why nobody included any like TV actors. Nobody like like if you're saying like oh the best actor or who's Bill your Cosby. favorite? What'd you say? Bill Cosby. Favorite TV. Well, see, the the thing is, I'm saying if he was included in that conversation, Mr. Hushable? he's not a movie actor, right? But I feel like the conversation the between the three of them, he sells jello pudding. They pops? were between the three of them. Nobody mentioned a television actor. When um, I ask you, you're not mentioning. So is your automatic when you well, hear how, how many haven't crossed cross roles, though? What do you mean? I mean, how, how many only television actors are there left? I'm asking you name a few. Oh, I mean, they don't they have to so proper. They don't have to be left. But um, I'm trying to think how of, many television actors only are there. Um, Mark Paul Gossler. Yeah, you know that's one. I'm like, well, I'm thinking of um, Kirk Cameron before he did his uh, Left no, Behind he did movies. movies. There's the Fire movies. No, he's he's in Christian movies. Okay, well, exactly. Yeah, Rolling like left, long he did ago. Left Behind and Left Behind Two and really Left Behind and Mommy, You Forgot Me. You know, but you know he's doing all those movies. But I think primarily, if you talk about Kirk Cameron, he's a he's an, a TV actor, I would think, right? Um, but so, no. so he had one. No, no, he had one series that lasted like ten years. Would, but he wouldn't even admit he knows boners to bone if he saw him in public. Of course, he wouldn't. He you know, died. You, you know, he wouldn't. And and the thing is, everything else has been movies. That ten years was in the eighties. It's fucking twenty twenty three. I'm just saying. That's not what he's known for no more. 
What about Carlton? He's still known as Carlton. Alfonso Ribeiro. He was ne- but no, that's a good one though, because he was never a movie actor, right? Mm-hmm. What about was um, he? No, I mean he got started dancing um, like on Broadway and shit when he was like four or five. Remember years the old. book he had where he was trying to sell the moves and shit. You remember seeing that shit? Mm-mm. He had a book. He came out. I think he came out with a book when he was on Silver Spoons with fucking Ricky Schneider. Yeah, and uh, and uh, about how to do dance moves. Joey Lawrence wasn't Joey Lawrence on that as well. Or am I, what am I yeah, thinking? Yeah, and, and no, Wait, with he, Nell he Carter, what was well. the one with Nell Carter? Oh, I forgot. I know she's speaking, you know what of, but I forgot. Yeah, but uh, but no, but see, but the thing is, I was thinking like, and and I probably couldn't even give you a good like example of actor. Um, like I guess Alfonso Ribeiro. L- let's go with that one. But but the thing is that nobody nobody mentioned anybody that was. It, like like everybody's first instinct is to go to um what about Mario Lopez? Yeah, yeah, I would say and you know what? But he never made a movie, right? Oh, he has like 50 of those Hallmark movies or those Lifetime movies. Oh, okay. My it's bad. always I'm like, sorry. oh, you know, oh, the mistletoe showdown and like all these damn, you know, fucking the mistletoe culo. <laughs> You know, it's like uh, Frosty didn't come home for Christmas and like all these dumbass movies, you know. Um, okay, my bad. So he does a, a gang of that shit, but but no, but I was just it, it just it surprised me that between like everybody, um, not one person had like a uh, nobody went the route because when you hear actor, I mean, there could be a voice actor you know there could be like a movie star a television star uh and i was just thinking about i was like damn everybody just went straight movie and i if you would have asked me right off the bat i probably would have gone that same route but when i was just hearing this conversation go on i'm thinking of like topanga and you know i'm like kelly kapowski and you know you banga you, you think of um, kelly Kapowski. Mouski. Um, but you're you're thinking of I'm like, huh, nobody mentioned anybody like that. All right, that's interesting. But um mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. And what do you all right? So something right now, as of right now, Pete Davidson is with Devin. Amy or not mm-hmm. Amy. What's her name? Emily. Emily Ratatouille. He's giving her the fucking Wessel, is what he's giving her. So you know what makes me laugh about Pete Davidson is that what when he was with Ariana Grande, you're like Ah, okay, whatever. You know, she's a cute girl or whatever, but I never thought of her as like, oh, oh no, he's piping stars. Like, well, no, think about it. This is like at the beginning, right? Where where mm-hmm. he was with her and you're kind of like, oh, yeah, she's a cute girl or whatever, but I never found her like a fucking bombshell. Then after Ariana that. Ariana Grande? After, what, what'd you say? Ariana Grande? Yeah, what about her? Oh, I would stab it. You wouldn't stab it? Of course I would. I mean, you can't. You get. You can't. You got. You got. You can't anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. But, but of course, no. But but I'm saying like it was never like if you told me like name like the top whatever three females in Hollywood that are the hottest or something. Oh yeah. You no, know what I'm she's not on that. Like, list. That's what I'm saying. No, like no. I never would think of her no. like that. But um, okay. But so when I'm you're with, with you. her, you're like. I mean, she, when she's cute. When he she's was cute, with her, but you said top three. That's different. When when he was with her, you're like, oh yeah, she's cute. You're like, yeah, probably look cute too, too cute for him because he's like kind of funky looking what? or whatever. But then you know, oh, he's fun- then he's there's funky like, looking? then I I think he's kind of weird looking, don't you? What he, he had a joke because what, what's weird about him? His stand up. He, I feel like he's a really good stand up. Every stand up I've seen. What's weird about him? He mentioned one time. This is what I'll say. <laughs> Fucker. No, no. I'm gonna answer the question. He said, um, "Hey, bro, did you play dodgeball a lot as a kid no, or what?" This is the, I'm fucking answering the question. One on one of his stand ups. <laughs> you were ducking and dodging. No, no, on one of his stand ups, when he comes out, he goes, "I know." He goes, I know I look ethnically ambiguous. And that is one thing when you look at him, you're like, what the fuck is he? Right? Because supposedly he's just a white guy. But then you see him yeah. and you're like, I don't know, though, but he doesn't have like he kind of has like, um, you know, the dude from like all the Billy Madison movie. I mean, all the Adam Sandler movies. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, Steve Buscemi. Like, you know, okay. Steve Buscemi yes. has a kind of a weird fucking look to him. I kind of feel like the same with Pete Davidson. 
And you're like, wait, he's right. like, just a normal white guy, but he doesn't like, I don't know. It, 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 he looks, he does, like he said, looks like ethnically ambiguous, right? He's got really big fucking eyes, like a fucking, I don't know. Um, but anyway, but what makes me laugh about him is that he gets with like Ariana Grande. You're like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But I wouldn't have seen that coming. Okay. Then he gets with like, Kate Beckinsale, and you're like, oh fuck, like that was like way out of his league. That fucker's moving, right? He's not going down the ladder, that's for well, sure. No, and then it makes me laugh because then you're like, oh fuck, like does it make you laugh? It, it, it makes me laugh because he, I, in my mind, I would think, well, like, oh well, I'm not thinking he's gonna get with like a bigger name after that, right? And then next thing you know, you're like, he's with Kim Kardashian, and you're like, wait, oh fuck, that was a, a he's laying pipe, right? The thing is, that's Hollywood rumors. That fucker's out there. He's laying la pipa. He's laying the pipe, and uh, it's only going to go up from here. No, and it made me laugh because she, she's going to go down. Emily Ratkowski or whatever her fucking name is is the one in the minute. And guess what? Next is going to be Larsa Pippen or somebody else. I mean, he's gonna he's just going to keep laying pipe. No, and what? And because we're in a, we're in a society where they share all that information. You watch. And no, what, what's gonna, funny is knock, that he's going to knock down a couple more. You watch. In my mind, I'm like, I think like, well, I mean, who's he going to get with next? Like, and then he gets with somebody in my mind that you never would expect. But you're like, well, fuck. Good for him. Like, like Kay Beckinsale, right? You would never. But nothing's a wild card in Hollywood, is it? I, I kind of feel like it is. I feel like, like, think about it. He's fucking 29, and then he gets with Kate Beckinsale that's, like, fucking 317, but she's gorgeous, and you're like, oh, shit, no yeah, shit. Yeah, but he he does movies, he does comedy, he does Saturday Night Live. I mean, he's all over the board, though. And then, like, freaking Emily Ratajkowski, it's funny because, Ratajkowski. like, for her, she made me laugh because that one, again, was surprising to me because we haven't heard... That bitch had what has she done besides fucking blurred lines and model, right? So so I feel like she's kind of been on she the Pete Davidson. I feel like she's been on the back burner of everybody's mind. Right? Yeah, she had her moment, but I feel like she was kind of like, eh, kind of and then when he gets there, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, she's cute. That's she's definitely stabbable. Of, well, of course. I mean, I yeah, she's I think she's bad, but it's not it's somebody that I'm like, if he was gonna be with somebody and like right now the fucking hollywood star you wouldn't think her but then when he gets with her you're like well of course why wouldn't he she's fucking bad right and so but but you know what though but you know what bro that's how this hollywood shit works though that's how it all works like these fuckers are all connected i mean then her name's out there again yeah no that's what i'm saying like yeah you, you say that but that's why this type of shit happens now she back on the map. A hundred percent. She gonna she gonna get some shit. Yeah, it, it's they work like that, man. I mean, and he gets so lucky because he gets the fucking pika pika pika. He's just he's fucking wasitos just out everywhere. He's swinging nine inches fucking any which way he can. Yeah, you know. So he, he you know because because right now he's the boy toy. So this shit gonna rock for another year or two, and probably on and off for the next ten or twenty. But. Maybe 30, who knows? Yeah. But uh right now they're gonna keep throwing them at him left and right. You watch. Yeah. No, I think I think it's um it's just yeah, it's crazy. It's fucking great. Yeah, good for him. Well, and then you see well, hold on, I got a question. All right. Did you see what Kimmy K posted after? No. So I seen it. So he the word in the street was you know, because I keep my ojos to the fuck. I'm not my ojos, but arejas to the yeah. street. But uh, anyways, Kim K posted some shit. So then she posted some uh, little little fucking shots for her skims fucking line, whatever. But it just so happened it came right after news broke that he was banging what's her face. So what is it like? Like what is? But what does that have to do with anything? Well, I don't know. Is is, is Kim K jealous? So what? Like, so she needed like the the spotlight back on her. So she's maybe, like, "Oh, I'm dropping so. some new maybe. shit." Well, it, check it out. Go on TMZ and check it out, or go on the Google Lay and check it out. 
but she was looking bad. She did. She dropped oh. a Skims bikini. Oh, okay. Skims I thought it was like some line. makeup or some shit. No, it was a Skims bikini line where she's rocking a bikini, but it was for Skims. But it just so happened to drop right within hours after that fucking Pete and Emily shit. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense to me. Because when you said she dropped her Skims, I was like, like a fucking new foundation or some shit like I, no okay bikinis okay 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 that makes sense that makes and, sense. and she's in them and she's in them and it happened within hours of that fucking other news breaking with him and emily radikuski's or whatever her name is. <laughs> i haven't heard that one yet <laughs> i've heard What's Ratatouille. Name, what is it? i've heard radikowski i haven't heard radikuski's <laughs> radikuski's yeah <bro>. yeah <laughs> oh man but fuck yeah, let me see. Pete Davidson I had on this bad boy. Best actor ever. Hey, this fucking show go. This is a good one. Yeah. Um. Oh, before anything, I got to give a shout out to Chris Thomas. That dude's a supporter of us. So what up to Chris? Christopher Thomas. Chris T. Um, let me see. Going with the hot hand. We talked about the haircuts. Bad baby. Oh, you know what? I have one more question, Doug. When is, What's that? When is it going to get? too far and comical that Stallone is kicking ass. Dog, this dude's like 75 years old and he's still in movies and shows and shit like whooping ass. When is it going to get to the point? Is there going to be a point where or is this dude just going to be 95 years old still like dressed in a tux <clears throat> whooping ass? Sylvester Stallone, look me in the eyes. Stop the fuckery. You're done. I saw him on a series. A new- At least with the bullshit. <laughs> he, he's got a transition. De Niro transitioned, right? Yeah. His, his roles now are totally Don't different. You know. I'm, I'm not telling you not to act, but quit acting like The Rock when you're 205. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. Okay, well, thanks. Because I that's where I was at. I was like, this dude's already... And he, well into his seventies, and he's still on the trailer or for some show that he's on. You can't, you, you can't have a pacemaker and act like the Rock. That, that, I'm just saying. That's where, yeah, that's where I'm feeling. But um, anyway, you know what? I think we got to wrap this bitch up because we got a lot of shit to do. I do this weekend still. So anyway, anything you want to leave the listeners with, El Kukui? Help, help us petition for a convention or a, a, a road meetup or something. Let's get something with the fellas. Let's get a get together. Everyone chip in and help out. See how much you want on it. Let's start their rumor. You know? Let, rumor? Let, well, let's start it. Did you hear Kavino and Rich are having a, a, a convention? I did. You did hear that? I heard that they were oh, so let, excited. Let's get Post- the word going. Everybody. Everybody that, that you're talking to that you know is a Carl, let them know, hey, did you hear about the Cavino and Rich convention? They're going to start doing them again. This coming yeah. 2023, right after the holidays, they're going to get this shit going again. Yeah. COVID is down. Everyone's vaccinated. They're excited to have everyone meet up again. I can't believe. And and, and I can't wait. Make Add a location. Oh, they're going to be meeting in Vegas. That's going to be dope. I can't believe they're going to okay, be meeting I'll in the be Midwest there. for their next convention. Be there I can't too. believe they're going to be in New York and Florida. They're going to be in Florida, Texas. Cool, be oh, in Florida. my goodness. I can't Florida, believe they're right, going to have their next convention in Texas. Barbecue. So everybody Damn. spread the Covino and Rich rumors. Let everybody know about Covino and Rich, Patreon, Fox Sports. Let them know about us. After show BL across all social media. Hit us up 928-235-5285. If you're watching this on YouTube, it is right there. El Kukui, I, I Also, also spread cheeks. Spread the Covino and Rich news. Spread the news about the after show, but later. But spread some cheeks while you're at it, too. And smack them. Bow, bow, bow. Dang, oh, I just have a, I, I created a new dating app right now. As you said, that spread. All right, so. What do you mean? No, you get the same cheeks as smack forever. Okay, but listen, a new app, right? It looks like an Excel spreadsheet, but it's called Spread Cheeks. That's awesome. With spread that cheeks. being said, I got a question. Spread Cheeks. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you should. That's great. And I want to be in on that. All right. But with that being said, have you seen the new dating app where it says once you get in a relationship, you can delete the app? Mm-mm. There's an app out there right can now. Can you do that with that and app? I've seen it. No, but that's their advertisement. That's their gimmick. And their logo is an H. I don't know what the fuck it is, 
We'll talk about it later. Mm-hmm. But there, you'll see the commercials. There's an app out there that encourages you to sign up, meet the person of your dreams, and boop, delete the app. Oh, and probably Weird maybe shit. it deletes your whole profile and everything because even if you have the no. apps and you you know your profile is out there forever. The no, that's not it. The goal is they hook you up with something you're going to meet for life, and you no longer need online dating. So because they're the one stop <clears throat> destination of finding the person of your dreams, after that happens, you delete it all and you're done because you're not in the fucking single world no more. Yeah. All right. We'll look into that. All After right. show, but later, episode number 155, your boy is D. El Kukui. Thanks again, Kukui. This shit's always fun, man. So we, we never, we never even, we, you know, it's funny because we always have shit written down, but we always go like mm-hmm. way off the script and shit. So um, I, I appreciate you for, for always just having the, the gift of gab and, and, and making it easy for me. So. I appreciate you too, bro. I and mean, you got the gift to gab your damn self. I guess we'll see. But after show, but later, episode number one fifty five. You know, but you know what though? You know who's got the gift to gab? Hmm. Baseline tray. Baseline tray. Can can he please take us out today? I don't like leaving without this fool. On the road to the riches, cause it's all about the paper. Now buckle up your seats and prepare for the journey. Let the music ease your soul. Grab a spliff and start burning. Uh, relax with us and take a trip to the heavens and come and spend a day in the seven five seven.